In this video, we're going to be looking at the basics of keyboard navigation in Visual Studio Code and Ionide for F Sharp. We always recommend that you learn keyboard navigation in your IDE as it tends to not only improve efficiency but also reduces the risk of repetitive strain injury from moving to the mouse and back to the keyboard again. One of the simplest shortcuts is showing and hiding the Explorer panel. This is a useful way of freeing up real estate when you want to focus on coding and not navigating. Type in Control B will do exactly this. As you can now see, pressing cursor keys for navigation doesn't work unless the Explorer bar has focus. And you can give it focus by pressing either Control Shift and E or Control and Zero. Once the Explorer bar has focus, you can use cursor keys to navigate through the file system and hit Enter to open a file. If the Explorer is closed or showing a different file to what's currently open, you can also configure code to open the Explorer and select the current file that has focus. In my installation of code, I bound this action to Control E R. As you can see, the client fs file is now selected in the Explorer. The next tip is how to close the currently active file. This is either Control w or Control f4 The last shortcut we'll see today allows you to directly open a file without needing to use the Explorer panel at all. This is a much more efficient way of navigating files. Hit Control and P and you'll see that VS Code opens up the file palette. Start typing a few letters of the file name. As you can see, suggestions are automatically shown. You can navigate and then hit enter when you've selected the file that you want to open. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe so that you'll automatically get notified when we release the next video in this series.